but he won't let them. He's a bigot and a racist who won't let kids of different backgrounds out of failing schools and let the money follow them. Man, uh, Kellyanne Conway is up to her old tricks again. Here we see her on Fox News and she's discussing John Fetterman who's running for Senate against Dr. Oz in Pennsylvania. In an industry that takes a certain level of shamelessness and gutlessness, Kellyanne Conway is probably one of the most gutless political operatives of my lifetime. And, and I'm not saying that to be hyperbolic. She's insane. And <laughs> she demonstrates that very perfectly in this clip. He's against school choice, charter schools, vouchers, educational freedom. He said it was, quote, an absolute necessity to lock these kids down in school. A little bit too long, pal. Actually, a lot too long. But he won't let them. He's a bigot and a racist who won't let kids of different backgrounds out of failing schools and let the money follow them. Suburban women very energized about education. She spews an unfounded fact that John Fetterman is against school choice, i.e. voucher programs, which I think it's just a bridge to completely privatize public schools, so I'm completely against the voucher programs and, of course, uh, charter schools, which are all the rage, which I also don't bang with because it's a bunch of schools that get public money but aren't held accountable by anybody. They take our funds and do whatever the f they want in those schools. But anyway, John Fetterman has never articulated that he's particularly against any of these programs, which is besides the point. The best part is that Kellyanne Conway, she uses this as an opportunity to paint him as a bigot. The framing of being anti-choice, school choice, excuse me, and voucher programs is that he's a bigot because he's not allowing, I'm guessing, poor people and minorities in bad schools to get to go to these great voucher schools and charter schools, which is rich. You know, the woman that works for easily, the most xenophobic, racist, quite frankly, there's no other way to put it, racist regime in, a, in major American politics since God knows when, probably since Goldwater. <laughs> okay, um, this woman is calling John Fetterman a bigot. This is, like, again, gutlessness in politics is never um, in short supply, but this woman is special. He put the marijuana flag up. He thought that was funny. He's trolling his opponent. He thinks that's funny. Here's what's not funny, that there's been a doubling of overdose deaths in Pennsylvania while he's been in office from 2015 to 2021. Fentanyl is rankling every every corner of the state but she's not done with the idiocy of course uh she blames the guy for the doubling of the fentanyl death rate in the state uh she she makes mention to a marijuana flag like as if people are still scared of weed like that's over that's done um i'm, I'm pretty impressed by how thoroughly Fetterman has wrong-footed the GOP here in this race. Like, they don't know how and where to attack him. And, you know, the best part about it is that the guy they have running against him is just the worst, most awful type of candidate. It's, it's quite hilarious. And he's basically only there because he's a celebrity, just like Donald Trump, who happens to be the Pope John Paul of the Republican Party right now, and he gets to be a kingmaker. It's it's kind of hilarious. They don't know what to do with him. Check out this Dr. Oz clip. I wanna push back on the costume a little bit, because it's an interesting phenomenon. I was stunned by it as well. <laughs> but it turns out that if you're a far left radical with the belief that this country is irredeemably stained, you just wanna break it apart. Just mm. bust America, yeah. crack it to its base, break it asunder, and rebuild it with your toxic ideology. That's what he stands for. Mm. When he dresses like that, it's not an accident. He's kicking authority in the balls. Yeah. He say, hey, I'm the man. I'm gonna, I'll show those guys who's, who's boss. I'm gonna not allow any traditional path to succeed. Because by breaking some parts of it down, I can represent, I can break it all down. That's the deeper message he's delivering. That's literally gibberish. <laughs> he's talking about how the guy dresses, he's coming up with conspiracies about the deeper meaning. Fetterman absolutely wrong-footed these guys. He's talking about meat and potatoes, populist issues. He's getting to the core of what's really ailing people in his state, and he's doing it with the sort of affect of an everyman and not some foofy, phony ass, never bought his own groceries as celebrity doctor like they can't do anything with this not with the candidate that they chose right like a lot of the gop brand these days is about anti-elite anti-establishment you know uh populist every man it's all 
bull you run somebody like Dr. Oz, that's running completely counter to what the people of Pennsylvania want. And John Fetterman has these people at a loss for words and at a loss for ideas. They're grasping at straws and it's dope to see.